Hey there movie fans, welcome to the Blues of May 2013. Uh, as usual, I'm going to start with you know giving two YouTubers a shout out. And they are the Movie Freak 226. Uh, he's a nice guy, and he, you know, he ma makes the usual kind of videos, you know, updates, reviews, and all that. Uh, but definitely go check him out. And the other YouTuber uh, is Danny. Don't go in two three seven. You get it, Danny. Don't go in two three seven. If you're a real movie fan, then you know from which movie uh, that is from. Uh, but his real name is Justin. And he also makes some pretty good and interesting videos himself. So uh, definitely uh, go check him out and subscribe to him. Uh, both of them. Uh, the links are below, of course. And uh, show, them, show them your support. Okay, I'm going to start with the, uh, the DVDs first. And I got these for very, very cheap. First one is Moratori. Um, I haven't seen this movie yet. But I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, it's a World War II movie and it has some great group of actors in it, uh, Marlon Brando, Jules Brunner and also uh, Trevor Howard in this, is in it as well. And uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with these guys. Looking forward to seeing this uh, this movie. Also got uh, The Last Hardman, which is an excellent western. Uh, James Coburn plays an escaped prisoner who seeks vengeance on the man who has uh, captured him. Uh, you know, Charlton Heston plays him, uh, who is now a retired sheriff. Uh, yeah, great, great western. I used to see this movie uh, a long time ago, but I recently saw it again. Uh, still very good. Uh, Russian Ark, uh, I've seen this movie once before on television and I was very impressed by it. Um, it's, it's about, you know, it, it, it takes you through the history of, uh, of, of Russia, you know, through uh, three centuries. And the whole movie is, is shot in one continuous take. And... Um, it all takes place within one building, which is the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. And um, this is an amazing film, really an amazing film. And I got this DVD for two euros, which is very, very cheap. Yeah, wonderful film, Russian arc. And the last DVD is uh, 13 Chimedi, uh, a French movie, entirely shot in black and white. It is about this young man who works as as a technician uh, at you know somebody's uh, home, and he, he discovers the body of the owner of that home. Uh, he commits suicide, and he also finds an envelope with a letter in it, and also some money, I believe. And um, inside this envelope is a letter with instructions, and he decided to you know take this envelope. And follows the instructions, and it, it kind of leads him to this you know mysterious place, and he immediately regretted doing that because he had to uh, participate on a dangerous game, and you can kind of you know see you know, the stills here of how dangerous this game is, but this is a brilliant brilliant film. It comes with this uh, you know one disc digi pack. They also made a. Um, a remake of this with an all-star cast like uh, Jason Statham, Ray Winstone, Michael Shannon, Sam Riley, Mickey Rourke. That was a decent movie, but I preferred this one. This is a, yeah, this is a brilliant film, 13 Chimetti. And that's it for my DVDs. And now for my Blu-ray steelbooks. Uh, the first one is Django Unchained. Um, I don't need to tell you anything about this movie anymore. I really uh, told you my opinion on it in my last uh, update. But this is the uh, you know the UK steelbook comes with this you know this is all embossed. A uh, very gorgeous steelbook, I have to say. Like the the back cover there. Yeah, fantastic film and a very gorgeous steelbook there. 
also have the German Steelbook of Gangster Squad. I have not seen this movie yet, but I like. Ga Ooh, look at this. <clears throat> I like gangster movies, and uh, I heard mixed reviews about this about this movie. But um, you know, I've seen the trailer. And it, it looks like fun, and uh, you know, it's, I think uh, Sean Penn really had a lot of fun playing uh, Mickey Cohen. But, uh, I, mean, I mean, you have to check this movie out just because of Emma Stone, right? But yeah, I can't wait to check this out. Gangster Squad. And the next Blu-ray steelbook is Jack Reacher. Now, I, I wasn't familiar with the character Jack Reacher. You know, I, I never read any of the books. I, I was familiar with the writer, uh, Lee Child. So I never heard of this character before until they made this movie, and um, you know a lot of you know the fans weren't happy with uh, the choice of Tom Cruise in this movie because in the books Jack Reacher is this you know big tall man, and um, people saw that Tom Cruise was miscast as Jack Reacher. But I, I had no problems with it. You know, like I said, I wasn't familiar with the books, and I thought it was a great movie. Uh, I thought Tom Cruise was very good. I, I really love the character Jack Reacher. You know, it is the kind of character that you usually see in westerns, like for example, Alan Ladd in in the Shane, or Clint Eastwood in many of his westerns, or most recently, uh, like. Ryan Gosling in um, in Drive. That is also this kind of uh, you know character as well. You know, a loner, a drifter who travels around the country, and uh, when he comes in this town, you know he you know he helps people who are in peril, and then after he helps them out, he leaves to another town. You know those kind of characters. I can I really love those uh, those characters. Yeah, I thought it was a great movie. Um, I love the uh, I love that it's, it's a mixture of an action movie and and you know a, myst a mystery. And the uh, the car chase sequence was fantastic. You know it's a scene where Tom Cruise is chasing the bad guys and at the same moment Cruise is being chased by the police and really great um, great sequence there. But yeah, I, I loved it. I thought it was a really great film. Jack Reacher. Next up is the Pillow Talk. Uh, this is one of those, you know, 1960s sex comedies uh, with Doris Day and Rock Hudson. Uh, I believe they made three of these movies in total, uh, I, and I think I've seen one of them, but I'm not sure if this is the one that I saw. But um, the digital book looks looks very nice. Oh, here are the other two with. Hudson and uh, Doris Day. It's a nice dish book. I got this for ten euros, so I could not, you know, pass this on for for that price. Also got. This for 10 years as well, Atonement, uh, I thought this was a very impressive film. Uh, never read the book though, but um, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought it looks beautiful. Very well directed, very well acted. This sequence that takes place in, on the beach, that was an amazing sequence. That was a, a very long... You know, one take sequence. And I also have the German digital book of The Big Gun Down, uh, directed by Sergio Solima. Was also known as the third Sergio. You know, the first two are, of course, Leone and Cabucci. And uh, Solina only made three westerns. Uh, this is the first one. 
The second one is Face to Face, which also stars Tomas Millian. And uh, the third one was called uh, Run Man Run, which is a sequel to The Big Gun Down. Uh, only it doesn't have Lee Van Cleve in it, but it does have Millian in it. And he basically plays the same character in, the, you know, in both these movies. But, uh, you know, this is a, a wonderful digital book as well. Um, comes with the DVD. This is the Blu-ray and also has a bonus disc. Uh, here as well. Now Sergio Solima, uh, what makes him different than you know the other Sergios uh, is that he was more of a political filmmaker. You know he was a, a left wing activist, and he is known for putting his um, you know, political ideas into his movies. And he also directed, uh, you know, aside from his westerns, he also directed um, Revolver with um, um, Oliver Reed. And he also directed uh, Vinyl City with uh, Charles Bronson and some other stuff as well. You know, Germany has released uh, many Italian westerns on Blu-ray. Uh, there are a couple that I really want to get. And um, one of them is uh, Te Peppa, which is also with uh, Tomas Millian, and also with um, uh, Orson Welles. I've never actually seen the movie, but uh, I'm definitely going to get that on Blu-ray. And they also have uh, Navajo Joe, which is an excellent uh, Sergio Cabucci Westwind with uh, Burt Reynolds. I have that on DVD, but uh, I'm curious to know what the uh, the transfer looks like of the uh, Blu-ray, so I'll probably get that as well. So, uh, yeah, excellent Western, The Big Gun Down. Next is Boys Don't Cry. Uh, amazing film. Uh, I thought Hilary Swank was very convincing as you know the girl who pretends to be a guy um yeah amazing performance by her great film uh the ending you know it, it's the ending really hit me in the face it was uh yeah it, it was amazing amazing film boys don't cry i also have uh, another year yeah, I'm I'm ashamed to say this, but this is the only movie that I have of Mike Leake. Uh, Mike Leake is is a great great director. He makes these you know these movies that are about real characters, you know, real stories about real characters and you know, believable characters. And you know, this is just one of those uh, those films. And is is uh, I think the actors are are terrific in this and. Uh, that is one of his Mike Leake straight. You know, he's he's a terrific actor and director. Um, yeah, I still need to get some other Mike Leake movies as well. But uh, I got these two for very cheap. They were both uh, four euros each, so I could not let that go for that price. Uh, this is something completely different, of course. This is Ray Harryhausen special effects Titan. Uh, this is a documentary of, about Ray Harryhausen, and uh, you know he passed away recently, uh, which is a shame. You know, even though he was 92 years old, which is a very respectable age, it's it's you know I still feel that he left us too early. You know, but uh, you know I I love Harryhausen. I've always been a big fan of his and his movies, and. Uh, this documentary was was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, although I had a, I had a feeling that this was a little too short. Uh, there were some scenes. It, it looks like some scenes were cut too early. Um, you know, I, I wish it was longer. But um, yeah, it's a very enjoyable uh, documentary, nonetheless. It has all these 
you know, famous guys, Peter Jackson, James Cameron, Steven Spielberg, all of these guys who were inspired by Harryhausen. Wonderful documentary, go check this out. And I finally have The Town That Dreaded Sundown. I've always wanted to see this movie, but I never had the chance but uh, I'm glad that Scream Factory has released this on Blu-ray and um, it also comes with an extra film, The Invictors, which I've never... well I think I've heard about this but I've never seen it but it has some good actors in it, Vic Morrow, Michael Parks, Jessica Harbors, who she was also in uh, Suspiria so, looking forward to seeing that but um, the town that read a sundown, I I thought it was a very decent film. Uh, there are humor in it that I thought it was very silly and very goofy and very misplaced in this movie. But it was a very decent film, nonetheless. Here's the uh, the inside of the two disc. Also has some um, you know artwork underneath the disc. This is from the uh, Evictors, you can see there. And this is, by the way, my first uh, Scream Factory Blu-ray. Um, I have other Blu-rays from, from Scream, or no, no, not Scream Factory, but Shouts Factory. But, you know, I never actually owned a Scream Factory Blu-ray before. So I'm definitely getting the, those other ones as well. Uh, you know, like the fog and the Halloween ones and uh, they live and all that. I really want to get all of them. Next is Lincoln. Um, this is the uh, the bl uh, German Blu-ray. You can tell from the uh, the rating sticker there. Well, not a sticker, unfortunately, just printed on the cover. Um, but I have not seen this movie. But uh, at the time that when you're watching this video. I've already seen the movie and I'm sh pretty sure I'm going to love it um, only because of you know Daniel Dane Lewis performance uh, you know I've seen clips of, of this film and I've seen uh, you know you, you can only tell by these clips that Daniel Dane Lewis is you know delivers an incredible uh, performance as uh, Abraham Lincoln I mean he didn't want an Oscar for nothing for this role so yeah, definitely gonna gonna check this out very soon. And the last Blu-ray is Howard the Duck. Now I know this film is known as a failure, but I've always liked Howard the Duck. You know, I grew up on Howard the Duck, and um, I've seen it millions of times back in the day, and I I still like it. You know, it, it's I know it's silly. And, and maybe a little childish, but uh, I really don't care. I've always liked this film. And uh, the Blu-ray transfer looks looks terrific on this uh, on this Blu-ray. It's only, unfortunately, it is Region B locked. So those who cannot play Region B Blu-rays, uh, it's, it's quite a bummer for that. <clears throat> and here you can see the, uh, the, the Spaghetti Westerns that I talked about earlier that the uh, Germans has released on the uh, on Blu-ray the Peppa, this is the one that I wanted to get now I've heard Joe the Mercenario, this is a very good one but anyway that is it for my DVD and Blu-ray update of May 2013 I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye Oh, one more thing, I almost forgot about this. Uh, I also purchased the digibook of Les Miserables, uh, you know, the musical with Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe, but uh, my sister have that one, so I cannot show it to you uh, in this video, but I will show it to you in my next update. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.